up here in El Paso at St. Mary Cemetery. And just gonna look at some of these really old ones here. Let's see what the, I can find. His name was John Dalton. Died in 1872. He's 47 years old. This one died in 1871, was 58. Beautiful day out today. And we'll go over here to. They got old ones kind of scattered through. Let's see. There's a Gibbons. 1884, was 71 years old. Born in 1854. There's Mary, was born, she died in 1872, was 91 years old. So that's a, uh, she was born in the 1700s. And her husband. Died in 1873 at 66 years old. Native of the parish of something. Ellen McMahon, born. Wow. Can't quite read it. Died 1880, erected uh, to her memory by her children. That's pretty cool. Here's one the weather got to, toppled it over or else kids, but I'd say it was the ground because it's kind of on a hill. I always wondered why, or what the reason is why Catholics have their own cemetery instead of, you know, born in, or born, buried in uh, cemeteries with everybody else. But there must be a reason. Here's some more old ones back here. I'd say this one's just, uh, there for when they do go, no names. Memory of Elizabeth Kilroy, 29 years old. That's what a shame. Here, you can't hardly read them. Yeah, we'll 
walk back this way. There's some old ones in here, but not too many in the 1700s. Born in Ireland. John Flanagan. Here's little kids. Died in 1871, 10 months, one, and the other one was two years. Here's one born on, or died on Christmas Day, 1882, was 60 years old. Wow. And yeah, we'll continue down here. And here's the new ones. Down through here. Mr. and Mrs. Cleary. That's my wife's cousin's wife's mom and dad. And I think uh, he's kind of paying around here. And out here is field and all. All right.